Kylie is back. And Kylie is down two nails on the other hand. And actually, I had replaced a nail on that hand because I broke it. So now that we got her refill all done, she's going to go wash her hands. We just magically skipped through all of that boring stuff. She said she wanted something Halloween-y fallish. I'm like, oh, let's do purple and black. She's like, I'm down. I'm like, all right. Because I like that purple and black ombre and I like it matted out. So we're going to put down some of the ultramarine and we're going to put some purple glitter on it. And then I will cure it. Once I cure it, I will wipe off the excess. The purple and black, I'm going to blend together a little bit with my brush. I will go back with a second coat and do it again and get a very good blend. I'm going to seal in that glitter with some clear builder gel, a very thin layer, just to smooth out that surface, because I am going to need a smooth surface anyway to put the spider webs on it. So for the thumb, I painted two coats black, and on the second coat, left it wet before I cured it and dumped some purple glitter going up the nail. Then I went back and I used my Sakura Number no. 2 striper brush to put some white stripes on the pinky nail. You know, that's one of my favorites. And if somebody says they want Halloween nails and I could do whatever I want, you goddamn right, I'm going to do whatever I want. And we're going to get some black and white stripes in there somewhere. I will incorporate it, okay? So we're going to do a spider on the index finger. I did one coat of Mademoiselle, one coat of Paloma to get that good, natural, nude color. I'm going to go draw the spider in black, and then I will go back later and just add a little bit of white to it for some highlight. Nothing... You know, nothing big, just a little highlight. I'm going to use my Sakura striper again for my spider webs. I'm going to do three lines and then start webbing it out. She wants little tiny diamonds on where the webs are meeting the lines uh, like I did on her sister. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And how I did that, because I forgot to record it or video it, however you want to say it, is I just put a thin coat of clear builder gel over that entire nail again and put the little stones on and then top coated it. But after all is said and done, guys, here's the final look.